So in the next couple of days, the, the Super Eagles of Nigeria will be at the AFCON, where in Abidjan, where the team will take on Equatorial Guinea. First game, second game against Ivory Coast, then the third game against Guinea Bissau. Uh, and with the president of Nigerian Football Federation, Alaji Ibrahim Musa Gusu, will just give us some, share some of his thoughts to Nigerians on what Nigerians should be expecting from the Super Eagles in uh, Ivory Coast. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much, Dr. Well, uh, first of all, let me thank you for uh, this privilege for us to have a little bit of uh, discussion on the uh, preparation for the upcoming afternoon. Well, as you know, right now, as I'm talking to you, the team is in Abu Dhabi. They have already started their eight days camping. And uh, by the grace of God, they are going to play the friendly match of the eighth against uh, Burkina Faso. We, 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 we schedule to organize two friendly matches for them, but uh, because of the time, the coach feel uh, one friendly match would be okay because he needed time to see how he can come up with a team. At least the seven days, let him use it to make sure that he perfect uh, the team so that they have one friendly match on the eighth. And then by the grace of God, they will be back to Nigeria on the ninth uh, for a center of dinner that will take place in Lagos, uh, precisely at Marina, uh, the seat of government in Marina and in Lagos on the ninth. Of, uh, in the night around 8 p.m. Then the, the following morning on the 10th, they will proceed to Abidjan, uh, which is the official date for their uh, arrival to, 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 to their camp base. Uh, as you said, uh, the first match is going to be played on the 14th of uh, January against Equatorial uh, uh, Guinea. Uh, then the second match on the 14th against the host country, which is our coast. And then uh, the third match will be played on the 22nd against Guinea Bissau. Well, uh, uh, on our own side, we are doing our best. Uh, we are making, we are trying to see, we give them all the preparation they require, they needed uh, for us to have put out in uh, Abidjan. And then on the government side, we have put everything the support of the government. Everything, everything is going on fine. And I want to assure Nigerians that by the grace of God, uh, we are going to make Nigeria proud. For you, I know you've been following football for many years, and you have seen different versions of the Super Eagles. Are you confident of these Super Eagles in Abidjan? Well, I'm very much confident in the team because uh, if you look at the team, it uh, consists of uh, uh, so many young, uh, upcoming uh, young boys, talented footballers, and uh, who are ready and eager to make them for themselves. Uh, if you look at the team, I think only two of those players, or the player, the team selected, the players selected are. Have been uh, won the World Cup, well, won the Nations Cup of 2013. A part of the team that won the Nations Cup of 2013, which I think is Ocon and Hanan Musa, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so there are a crop of young players that really want to make them uh, for themselves. Uh, for example, now we have the the, the, the best player uh, in Africa, in person of Osimi, but he has never won the Nations Cup. So I know it's going to be a dream of joy for him to see that tomorrow. He, he leaps in the nation's cup. And then we have a lot of uh, players doing wonderfully well in their various clubs uh, that people are talking about. And uh, they have never got to that level. And uh, in the career of football, uh, somebody must have certain things to talk about uh, in history. And when you are talking about being a Nigerian or being an African, one of the things that you can talk about is for you to be part of a team that will win the nation's cup. And I'm sure they are eager to do that. And by the grace of God, we will give them good messages for the leaders. Uh, to, 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 to do that for them. Yes. So can you just shed more light on, we have heard that uh, the CAF NFL want, uh, wanted 27 players and um, at the end of the day it was 25 players. From So can you just give us more light, how come it was 25? No, you know, so supposed to be 27, according, to supposed the, to the, according to this, it's 23 players. Okay, supposed but, to 23. But CAF give us the privilege that, uh, give every country the privilege that you can bring 25, or you can bring up to 27. Mm -hmm. But uh, whatever is going to go within the 25, 22, 4 people that you are going to add, it, it is your own responsibility or it's your own decision. And uh, at our own level as a federation, we cannot take decision, any decision on that, so we have to consult the coach. Because the coach is the one that is uh, going to manage the team and he knows what he wants. And then he decided to select uh, 25 players. So I think there's nothing to talk about it because if uh, officially we have uh, 23 players to go with, and then we're able to fix 25. I think that's what he feels is okay for him. 
Uh, maybe he don't want to be a little bit distracted or a little bit confused in uh, some way. Because uh, if you have 27 players, obviously when a team is playing, you already have 16 out there. So it sometimes give some coaches are not very much comfortable with that. So maybe that's why he decided to go with 25 players. But uh, obviously it's uh, basically the decision of the coach because it's a privilege given to us and we informed the coach and he decided to come up with 25 players. Talking about being comfortable, a lot of Nigerians are not comfortable right now with go with uh, in a uh, referee really getting injured. We also add that um, even as uh, Kileti and Achor is not too fiscally strong. We don't know half about for Kenet for NDD. It has been confirmed that it's ruled out of the tournament. What do you make of this? Any tension from your side? Well, I don't have any tension because I know we played a lot of uh, matches without NDD and we won a lot of matches without NDD. And we played a lot of matches with NDD and we lost uh, unexpectedly. So it's not about NDD, it's about the national team of Nigeria. And then uh, the just young boy that was brought in, brought in now, Yusuf, is also doing wonderfully well with his team. If you watch the last uh, couple of uh, days, uh, when they played their match against Barcelona, you can see what he, the performance he put off for them to win Barcelona at the Champions League match. So it's also a young boy. Maybe it's, it's, it's an opportunity for him to do the miracle. Don't forget. Everybody doesn't have confidence in Mbawa when we go to the Nations Cup in 2013. And at the end of the day, Mba was uh, part of the people that made the miracles. So we don't, nobody knows what Yusuf was going to be on the team. So it's not about the DD, it's about the Super Eagles and the Smart National Team. And by the grace of God, we don't have a problem with that. Uh, that's how God wishes, and uh, we don't take it to be anything. And uh, maybe it's an opportunity for Yusuf to, 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 to show the world, or to show Nigerians that really we have talent over there. But for him, actually, even this morning I spoke with him and uh, he's fast recovering. He told me he has even started going out to run and uh, by the grace of God, most likely, most likely, he cannot only be in the camp, in the, the training camp now, but most likely he's going to be with us in Lagos before the dinner, then they take off to go together to Abidjan. Mm, that was interesting, sir. Finally, for me, we know that uh, there's a particular player in the Super Eagles who has broken the record for Nigeria, scoring four goals in the World Cup, two goals in the 2014 World Cup and two goals in 2018 World Cup in Russia. Talking about Amir Musa, who was with the most capped uh, Nigerian player. And a lot of people have said that, okay, this tournament may be his last tournament for the for Nigerian national team. What do you make of Amir Musa in his years in the Super Eagles camp? In the years in, in, in his, his years in Super Eagles? Well, uh, it has been a very inspirational uh, time for him and the Super Eagles because one key thing about uh, Ayman Musa, especially when he has the role on the given the opportunity, given the opportunity to roam uh, as a captain of the team, he tried to make sure that at least uh, he bring the uh, players together. He tried to make sure that uh, there is sanity in the camp, and uh, that is what is needed because wherever you have a team, there must be a leader, and that leader must be somebody that can uh, try to carry everybody along and to make sure that everything went well in the camp. And uh, that is one factor he has uh, managing the, the, the team and uh, making the team to be uh, one. And, uh, and, uh, it has been given a lot of success. Uh, talking about uh, whether this is going to be his last outcome or what, that will be the, his own decision and decision of the coaches that are going to handle the team. But uh, I'm happy for him that at least he has the opportunity to participate at uh, this uh, Nations Cup once again. People thought maybe from the last outcome it could maybe his last upcom. That was what was uh, discussed, I think, some two years ago. But uh, luckily, also, this time around, he's also invited and uh, he's going to be part of the team in Abidjan. And so, let us see how it goes. But uh, to tell you, he has uh, a very good time with the team for the first 11 12 years that has, he has been on the team. And then uh, the time he has been uh, uh, selected to be the captain of the team has been a wonderful period for the team. And whenever you see he's not part of the team, you see, you really understand that there's some, there's, there's something is missing because uh, the, because of the leadership role he play if he's around. So sometimes it's not even about football, it's about how do we work as a team. And he's really doing that and uh, we're happy with, for him and uh, by the grace of God, all other decisions are between him and his coaches. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for, like, thank you, Nigerian Football President, talking about Elaji. Brian Musa Gusso for speaking with Totorio News here in Abuja. Thank you, sir. Thank God you bless you. Man. Thank you very much.